you have to find ways to, to establish that new relationship post-sale, um, carrying it over from pre-sale, and then align in a way that works for that economic buyer. And it might or might not be traditional EBRs. It probably isn't. Uh, and so what are the other ways you can do that? Welcome to Future Customer Value, where global thought leaders share their career-defining moments. If you could describe uh, the the customer leading indicator metric, right? What does the customer actually care about, and what should be measured? How would you how would you describe that? What was the gap, the value gap between the company thinking about the cust, assuming what the customer wanted, and then the customer saying, "No, this is our truth," right? So, Delta I think like the classic metric that uh, that really any subscription company uses, whether it's a you know, Peloton bike or a piece of software, is if the if the customer slash user is using it, they must be getting value. Um, and you know, they're they're I see them in there. I see them using the product, and you know, they 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 bought it for ten users, and eight are in there regularly and using the heck out of it. So therefore, we must be good. And and the truth is that that's not. I mean, it's a good indicator. It's better than if they're not in there. Uh, but but really, the true indicator is um, are they actually achieving the outcomes? that they had hoped to achieve.